Autostem Generation 3 cartridges are simple to use. Just follow these five easy steps. Step 1. Unlock the cartridge by turning the rotational safety lock anti-clockwise to the fire position, aligning the fuse head with the granular mix. Step 2. Drop the cartridge into the borehole. Make sure that the borehole is the correct diameter. Step 3. Wire it up and test the circuit for continuity. Step 4. Stand clear. We recommend a clearing area of 50 meters. Step 5. Connect to the firing box and initiate. When fired, the fuse head ignites a proprietary granular powder contained within the cartridge, resulting in the generation of high volumes of harmless gas. The cartridge self-stems inside the borehole, and pressure created by the combustion gases works against the rock to cause breaking and fragmentation. No charging up, tamping or stemming is required, which saves you time and money. Autostem comes in a wide range of sizes, from 9mm to 87mm in diameter, for a variety of blasting applications, including oversize management, tunneling, sliping, sensitive and commercial civils blasting, benching, trenching, and underwater harbour and salvage blasting. Whatever the blasting application, there's an Autostem cartridge that's right for you. Autostem, the world's only non-detonating rock-breaking cartridge.
A stretch of Highway 78 near Ramona remains closed at this hour after some big... State Route 78 was closed in both directions between Academy and Haverford Road. The rock slide happened Tuesday. One rock nearly 100 tons. Nearly 100 tons rolling off the rain-soaked hillside, blocking the busy road between Ramona and Escondido. One of them about the size of a dining room, we're told just under 150,000 pounds. The largest boulder, 16 feet tall by 8 feet wide and weighing almost 150,000 pounds. Unfortunately, using dynamite to quickly blow it up and get it out of here isn't an option. Fortunately, using dynamite to quickly blow it up and get it out of here isn't an option. First, they need to break them into smaller pieces, but they can't use high explosives because the rocks would go flying into nearby homes and more of them could come down, causing problems to the road as well. So instead, they're using a slower speed explosive called auto stem. Called auto stem. With high explosives, uh, you, you can't predict what's going to happen in secondary rock. You get a rock flying a mile away into somebody's home. Then they drilled holes in the boulders and placed cartridges like this one, one. that releases energy at a much slower rate than dynamite when detonated. As the energy is released at a slower rate, you're in more control of that energy, and it can be all focused in a breaking rock and not throwing rock. It worked perfectly, which is good because the next option was to individually jackhammer each rock. You can see all the progress they've made. Most of those rocks now off the road. Now, Caltrans says a crew will work through the night to try and get that road clear in time for the morning commute.